The Salk Institute in La Jolla is at the forefront in the fight against climate change. And one of its most innovative projects is harnessing the power of plants to help reduce global warming. Fox 5's Misha Debono live for us in La Jolla to show us. Misha. Yeah, hi, Andrew. This is so exciting. Using genetics, they're identifying the best plants to absorb carbon dioxide and store it in the soil. Plants do this naturally. Excess carbon dioxide is what's contributing to global warming. The idea here is to enhance that process and then multiply it all across the world. So all these plants that are growing here allow us to learn how we can then make plants better in storing more carbon for longer. The Salk Institute's Professor Wolfgang Busch is a lead scientist for the Harnessing Plant Initiative, a cutting-edge program that may be an answer to combating global climate change by identifying the best plants and perhaps more importantly, their roots to capture and store carbon dioxide. There are already our carbon capture machines that we so urgently need to reduce the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that causes global warming. And, and, and so we try to leverage uh, uh, genetics and find ways to make them even better. They're studying how roots grow in different environments to identify the genes responsible for the process to ultimately enhance that process. We have already identified more than 10 genes that actually make plants better in storing more carbon for longer in the soil. And they're already testing them in the real world. Right now, there are two field sites here in California. Bush believes in five years, they'll be able to draw down a million tons of carbon dioxide using enhanced plant varieties worldwide. And we hope that in uh, 2035, uh, we will have arrived at a scale that is more than a gigaton of carbon dioxide. To put that in perspective, plants on their own get rid of about 20 times more carbon dioxide than humanity produces. But global warming is causing an excess of about 18 gigatons per year. So if we were to capture four gigatons, we would have solved a quarter of this by using enhanced crop plants. And we think that is something uh, we can do. So obviously this is a ways off, but a very promising solution uh, and one of many that they are working on here at the Salk Institute. From La Jolla, Misha Bono, Fox 5 News. All right, nice to see some hope out there.